Hi guys, today I will tell you about a new ICO called Module. One of the main ways that Module differs from its competitors, among which are such market dinosaurs as Ethereum, Stellar and EOS, lies in its use of other people's mobile gadgets, smartphones, tablets, laptops. To store information, said a journalist from a newsbtc.com. So, Module is a blockchain-based platform designed to utilize the free storage of smartphones, PCs, servers, etc. As an asset, using the Module platform, one will be able to participate in mining even from a smartphone. Servers and enterprises can also participate in mining. As you can see, we are already on the page at modultoken.io. Everything here looks very professional. You can open the one pager or the white paper from here and remember that it is crucial to carefully read the white paper of every project that got your attention. It contains information about the team members, business plan, technical data, company philosophy and much more. Spend your money reasonably. From the top of the page, you can also join their Telegram group. Uh, it is the best way if you have any questions, because it gives you a direct connection to the people behind this project. Other informations that you can get here are that the hard cap is set as $18 million and that you'll get 7% bonus by joining the whitelist. Let's scroll down. These are the three main issues that drive the project. There is 32 billion gigabytes of unused storage. That means we have vast storage resources on the planet that are being wasted. Module is the platform that intends to use these storage resources. We aim to become an environmentally friendly platform by effectively utilizing unused assets. Also, the growth of this file size, the emergence of HD, VR and 4K, it all leads to the need of having huge volumes of data and being able to transfer it as fast as possible. Even when it comes to the crypto industry, mining requires a lot of computing resources. Module offers one solution for these three issues. Below they've prepared the explainer video and let's watch it together now. The POSTT blockchain was born from the idea to introduce blockchain technology to existing cloud-based servers. The existing client server solution is plagued by problems of server management costs and hacker attacks. In a client server solution, the user's data are stored in the client's server and data may leak or be destroyed if the server is attacked. However, this data security problem can be resolved by distributing and storing the user's data using the P2P method on blockchain. Besides, data can be stored at lower cost. The POSTT blockchain has its own coin. The verifier will pay the cost of storing the data with this coin and the farmer will receive coins as compensation for providing storage capacity to, the store, to store the data. This means that the POSTT blockchain has a transaction function associated with the sending and receiving of coins. It will be easier to start a blockchain business, people will be able to get paid by renting their storage space and the companies could rent some space cheaper than usually. But don't you worry about the safety of your data. It will be encrypted on clients on client side. Even the data transfer will be faster. Doesn't it sound cool? Get started with your own blockchain. Modules mining algorithm makes it possible to earn rewards by lending out storage space. As the storage capacity of devices progresses and expands, one can expect the various services offered to expand. In addition to issuing new original coins, users will also be able to develop the centralized applications on the platform. Here you see the options that developers has. You will earn just by hosting your unused storage. The data transfer will get faster than ever with the growth of popularity in your region. 
data will be protected on many levels through decentralization, end-to-end -end encryption, and et etc. Also, if that is not enough, it will be cheaper than ever, and you're gonna save your time thanks to mobile smart contract system. Okay, but let's go down the page. As you can see, the internal tests of the app will start in October 2018 and they're planning to launch it publicly in January. The beta of the app will be given to everyone who bought the MODL token and the value of MODL will grow with the activity inside the application. Module is about to change the world of the cryptocurrency market. The, uh, they will cause ripples and when they, uh, the thoughts of the users will take a real shape and people will be able to know them, we will be able to make a change in the world. But let's focus on the token economics. Some of it you already know. The public sale starts with the beginning of August. The funds collected are going to be distributed as follows. 50% for the development of the project, 20% will go to the team, 15% for the marketing and another 15% as a token bonus. However, the allocation of the tokens looks like that. 70% is predicted for mining, 25% for the ICO distribution and the last 5% to the private pre-sale. Below you can see the media that mentioned the module project. There is a lot of it actually. Further down the page there is the roadmap. Uh, right now we are here just before the start of the ICO. And finally we are at my favorite part. Meet the team and advisors. Unfortunately, I won't introduce you uh, everyone, but believe me, they are all very interesting people and here are the few representatives. Toshiki Tashiro, project manager. Over 10 years of experience in the software industry, including management of a software developing company. Works as a guest lecturer in educational institutions delivers open lectures and representations on IT market issues and programming, passionate about raising awareness on blockchain and cutting-edge technologies in local communities, specializes in crypto economy, startups and ICO analysis. Yoshito Kikuchi, after joining Recruit HRM Company Limited, Focused on the financial industry, the company is a standalone branch of a foreign insurance company and operates as a general brokerage agency. Utilizing his powerful logical and business skills, Yoshimoto is in charge of negotiations in various fields related to the current project. Yuichi Yoshida, Marketing, a young businessman who is running a company since 21 years old invested in real estate, securities, cryptographic currency, etc. For several years and participated in various ICOs and experienced participant in the investment community of hundreds of blockchain investors and enthusiasts. Eisuke Matsumoto, Marketing Over 10 years of marketing experience at foreign affiliated companies, youngest Youngest person ever to establish a sales record in Japan, has a wide network of personal and professional connections and his module is in charge of expanding the community. Marina Kazakova, Press, graduated from Moscow State University with honors, conducting research of the intern on the international negotiating process and decision making. Winner of international speech and essay competitions, Interested in startups and crypto technologies since 2015. Regularly works as an interpreter at worldwide blockchain events. Fluent in Russian, 